two levels of capital gains tax, aren't there? So there's capital gains tax on property, second properties, which is completely different. Exactly right. So, uh, and this, this is another area where I think we might see some changes. So if you're selling, as I say, most normal assets, say normal assets, that's probably the right expression, but non-residential property assets, and that can include commercial property, for example, as I say, shares, things like that, then you pay the normal 20, 10 or 20% rate. If you're selling residential property, as I say, if it's been your main home for the whole time that you've owned it, you don't need to worry about capital gains tax at all. But if you've got a second home, which hasn't been your main residence, you might have rented it out or it might have been a holiday home, then there's a different rate of capital gains tax on those properties where effectively you, you pay, if you're a basic rate taxpayer, up to your basic rate level, you pay 18%. And then if you're a higher rate or an additional rate taxpayer, you pay 24% instead. And this now has to be paid within 60 days of, it's of completion correct. of selling yeah. property. Yeah, so yeah. So it's quite a tight time frame. It is a very tight time frame. So you've got an increased capital gains tax rate and you've got a tighter time frame for um, perhaps you're paying capital gains tax. Um, and I think in the last budget for the Conservative government, Jeremy Hunt brought the rate down on the higher rate taxpayer from 28 to 24. That's right. It doesn't take much imagination to say that as a minimum they'll reverse that change right. but 